And now, ready to make his way to the ring from the red corner, Juan Zapata. And so Juan Zapata, this was a guy that was added to the card very late. There was some scrambling going on. Actually, the day before the weigh-ins, three different guys were scheduled to be in the red corner against. And this is the lucky guy. And this is the guy that <laughs> finally got step the down. call and he will step in, yeah. So Juan Zapata, six, 16 and three, four KOs in his career. His last fight, a first round TKO loss to Kanel Wheeler, 35 years of age, originally hailing from Trulejo, Honduras, now resides in the Bronx, New York. Rated as the number 700 in the super middleweight division. So rated as the number 121 super middleweight in the United States. From the blue corner, Richard Rivera. And you can hear it. Big ovation for Richard Popeye Rivera. Sounds like a rap song. There sounds we like, Sounds like a rap song coming. 14, oh and no. 11 KOs in his career. His last fight, a KO win over Isal Sanchez. Unfortunately, they did not have the round listed online, but he did get his 11th KO in a fight down in Mexico. He's 28 years of age, born and resides in Hartford, Connecticut. Currently rated as the number 70 ranked cruiserweight in the world and the number six cruiserweight in the United States. 10 of his first 11 fights resulted in a knockout fight against Sanchez that we talked about. That was his third time down in Mexico. He likes to travel down there and he likes to go with the Mexican fighters. As we've got the live rap coming in. There is Richard Rivera. He has fought on Christy Martin's cards twice before. He is 2-0, and both wins came by way of TKO. Tell you what, he can make an entrance. That's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> the problem is, I don't understand anything you're saying. Live music act will hand the mic back over to the ring announcer, Bob. Robert Alexander. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Hard Rock Hotel on Daytona Beach, Florida, our next stop is brought to you by Christy Martin Promotions. This is your co main event of the evening. Scheduled for six rounds of boxing in the light heavyweight division. The three judges scoring at ringside, Fred Flutie, Bill Glover, and Eric Larson. When the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, your referee, Frank Gentile. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks with black trim. He weighed in at 176 pounds, a veteran of 20 professional bouts, El Hijo de Trujillo, Honduras, in the Bronx, New York. Here is Juan El Calafino Zapata. 
with black and white trim. He weighed in at 183 and a half pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career. 14 wins, no losses, 11 wins by way of knockout. From Hartford, Connecticut, it is Richard Popeye, the Sailor Man. Humongous ovation. Yeah, it's got a great crowd going. Well, Frank Gentile, the referee. In charge. Who's in charge? The referee. He will. What's the number one rule in boxing? What is that? Protect yourself at all times. There we go. Let's see who does that best in this one. Here we go, round one of the co-main event from Christy Martin's Battle at the Beach from the Hard Rock Hotel in Daytona Beach, Florida, live on Pain Boxing TV. Richard Rivera in the pink trunks to Honor Christy Martin along with the white trim and Juan Zapata in the silver trunks with the black trim and also has the Honduras flag on it as well as the stars from the Honduras flag on the left buttock. Tell you what, Rivera's not playing. Very aggressive fighter. We get 11 of his 14 fights entering this one have been knockouts. That's what he likes to do. He wants to knock you out. But Zapata is a veteran. It will not be easy. Oh, and Rivera with a big right. Over the ear. Very clean shot. I don't think he's getting out. Zapata getting oh, very late. Oh, late. oh. oh hops up. wow. Okay, I'm shot. That was a quick, that was a, <laughs> after laying there for a while, very quick hop up. Yes. Hops back to his feet, but Rivera with a knockdown already. He's not going to lay off. Ooh, ooh, and it. oh, he gets him again. I don't think that's. Again, that right hand to the ear that you were talking about. Rivera wanting, begging him to get back in. He'll run right oh, back towards him. Going to work. Okay, he's, he's turning to a fight, not a, not a boxing match, though. He's doing the right thing. He's attacking. My goodness. He's trying to get his opponent out. Just don't get wild. Ooh, see that? She's Hot right trying to find something. Rivera relentless. And now, oh, Zapata Ooh. coming Ooh. back, and then Zapata, they called that a knockdown. Okay, that was interesting. I thought he just slipped. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. He's done. How about it? Richard Popeye Rivera with his 15th career win. His 15th career win, 12th by way of knockout. And our co-main event, it's the over. quickest one of the night, a first round TKL.
So that will lead way to the main event. Which will be a one more fight, folks. Fantastic one. One more. And it will be a great one. Glenn Hagler Jr. 3-1-0 and in his career in front of a hometown crowd. He will look to find a way to take down Mark Anderson. He comes in again, 3-17 and one, but he has only been knocked out three times in those 17 losses. He is a very impressive veteran. I mean, what Anderson brings into the ring is, a, is that uh, that experience that a Glenn Hagler needs. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause for both fighters, please. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Hard Rock Hotel on Daytona Beach, Florida, your referee in charge, Frank Gentile, calls a halt to the bout at 2 minutes, 28 seconds of the first round. Your winner by TKO, still undefeated, Richard Popeye, the same.